and thanks again for joining us at Fifth Street Creative Initiatives. My name is Maud, and now we will be looking at the second portion of A Young Journalist's Guide to Success, The Art of the Interview. Not only is it your job to unveil the story, but you need to present yourself in a professional manner and establish a good rapport with your interviewee. Many people have never been interviewed before and may be nervous to be recorded as they share their story. You must behave with the ultimate sense of professionalism to make them comfortable so that they will open up and disclose information with ease. Always remember that you are the star reporter. This means that you are in control of the interview and you have to stay in control. Just as some people are reluctant, Others can be very dominant and will knowingly or unknowingly begin to steer the conversation. You must be aware of this and take back the reins gracefully. This is where your diligence and preparation will be a great asset. You are the conductor, so conduct. The so-called bread and butter of a reporter is your arsenal of effective questions. It is your job to pursue the information. This is the key to capturing a story. If you ask good quality questions, you are likely to get better quality answers. Remember this as you carefully compose your list of questions and don't shy away from asking the hard ones. Often the most challenging and uncomfortable queries lead to the most valuable and heartfelt accounts. Be prepared to improvise and respond with follow-up questions to clarify why they stated that or what did they mean by that statement. Do this in order to encourage them to embellish if you feel their answers are too brief or if you sense that they are holding back and there is more to the story than they are letting on. Focus on including all six of the primary journalistic questions. What? Why? When? where, how, and who. When composing your questions, steer clear of any that can be answered with a simple yes or no. It is your responsibility to elicit information and remember, although your opinions are of great value, in the case of an interview, you must keep them to yourself. You are the conveyor of the interviewee's story. You may dig into the depths of the information but you may not weigh in with your judgment. Listening is equally important to the questions themselves. You must be prepared for proper note-taking, but recording your interview is the best form of protection. By creating a video or audio recording, you ensure that nothing is forgotten or missed. It also solves the dilemma of miscommunication, misunderstanding, or worst of all, the suggestion of libel. Always ask the interviewee for their consent before you record any conversations. When you begin, it is both wise and professional to have the interviewee state and spell their name. Place the recording device in an inconspicuous spot so that it does not become a distraction, and please do not make the amateur mistake of running out of battery power. However, this does not eliminate note-taking. If you are able, also take detailed notes, but create a fine balance so that you are still physically and visually invested in your interviewee. They need to feel like you are listening to them or they will close up. This is all part of the art of the interview, and we encourage you to practice beforehand so that you can walk into your interview feeling confident and excited to be a Fifth Street Creative Initiative star reporter. 